everyone. Welcome to the Fulfilled Women. This is Vivian. I'm a motivational speaker, a certified life purpose coach, and the founder of the Fulfilled Women. And today on the show, I'd like to introduce to you a very, very special guest. I'm so privileged. I'm so honored to have Miss Marlene Legaspi Monar with us today. She's a pastor's wife, a translator, an editor. Um, what else? She's a published author, and she has published quite a lot of books, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Good morning, Miss Marlene. Ay, afternoon na pala. Well, <laughs> depende kung ano oras nila ito panonoorin. <laughs> Hello. Ay, biglang nawala. <laughs> Hello. Yes. So, okay. how are you? Thank you for being on the show today. I am so honored that you are here. I know you're very busy, so thank you for your time. And I forgot to introduce my co-host. Can you introduce yourself? What's your name? Natalie. Natalie. <laughs> Hi, Natalie. Hello. Hi, Vivian. Hi, Natalie. Of course, hey. it's my pleasure to be on your, how do I call it, program. Yes, thank you very much Bo, for being here. Well, today, we are going to talk about how you became an author because a lot of a lot of people maybe are wondering and are wishing wishful thinking paano ba makapagsulat ng libro so we're we're going to you're going to walk us through how you got started what inspired you to become an author and like how you became where uh, how you have been where you are today so can you tell us you you, you, you're an author now. You've published a lot of books. So, was this like a childhood dream or was it something na bigla na lang sabi ni God in, impressed in your heart you're going to be an author? So, what happened? Mm -hmm. When people ask me kung paano ako naging author, paano ako naging writer, I always look back to the time when I was in grade school and then high school na talagang I really like to read. So, I would read books uh, borrow books from the library and um, even make a list of the books I've already read. So, gusto, gusto ko talagang nagbabasa noon. And one time, I remember vividly, I told myself, um, after reading a book, I told myself, um, siguro magiging masaya ako if I could write at least just one book. So, back then, I was already, I already had a dream na makapagsulat. Pero noon, parang ang dream ko lang wasn't that big. Kita lang eh, sabi ko, kahit isang book lang, I would be very happy. So, I started writing, ano pa lang, um, I remember when I was in grade 7, kasi nung time namin, may grade 7 pa, I, I wrote poems, and then I moved on to writing short stories. Uh, actually, I sent a short story to a magazine at the time, and it was published when I was in high school pa lang. So, wow. yes, uh, I was in third year high school and then my short story was published in a magazine for, for teen. So, para ako laging panahan, sabi ko, wow, I didn't want to pursue writing. So that's why in college, I took up uh, communications. Hindi naman creative writing, I took up communications. Because I just had the desire to, you know, communicate, parang ikaw. <laughs> uh, communicate and tell other people, you know, things that, you know, inspire others, encourage others. So, I took up communications in college, and then uh, after graduation, shortly after, I applied for um, work as a staff writer for a magazine. Mm -hmm. So, I worked as a staff writer, I was doing articles, I was uh, uh, interviewing celebrities for our cover stories, I was doing uh, reviews, book reviews, restaurant reviews, uh, lahat ng mga pinapagawa sa staff writers, kasi at the time, you were just three. So... Konti lang kaming staff nun. But then, um, after only a few months, I resigned because I felt the calling of the Lord to go into um, ministry. So, I went to Bible school and then I volunteered in church. I was involved in ministries. I used ministries of church. I was into Bible studies. And, uh, I was uh, also teaching children uh, in Sunday school at the time. So, parang na-set aside for a while yung writing, yung dream of writing a book, uh, until I got married. When I got married, syempre, uh, somehow I wanted to support my husband kasi my husband was a pastor. Mm -hmm. uh, I had no plan of working full-time kasi I want to be a hands-on mom. Mm -hmm. So, ang naisip ko, 
uh, since I already had an experience working as a staff writer uh, before I got married, sabi ko, ituloy ko na lang, but freelancing this time. So I tried mm -hmm. writing freelance. So I wrote for several magazines um, locally, and then meron din akong nasulatan overseas. So sabi ko, okay na to. So, but then the big break came in 2000. So medyo matagal na to, no? Yes! <laughs> Um, when I was asked or invited by a publisher, by a Christian publisher, to write a uh, textbook, a Bible-based values education textbook for children. So I was invited to be one of their writers. So, uh, of course, for me, that was um, a big blessing. Kasi, wow, sabi ko, um, I know this is from God kasi it's an opportunity for me to teach kids Maybe hindi yung face-to-face -face, but in a classroom setting kasi magagamit yung libro, yung textbook. So, uh, I had a big break, 2000. My uh, textbook was published. I was one of the writers. We were a pool of writers actually, hindi lang naman ako. But also that same year, I joined a short fiction writing contest. Um, and, praise God, I won second place. Wow! Yes. There were uh, three of us, first, second, third place winners. Our books were published. And um, yeah, na, na published uh, in 2000. So in the same year, I had one short fiction book published and a textbook published. Kaya lang, I was wow. waiting for short fiction. But I have it here with me. <laughs> this one, this is the copy of the book. Oh, wow, nice! So it was a long time ago. Out of print na siya. <laughs> so then, um... I've been writing here and there, trying any kind of mat of uh, genre I think I would be comfortable in. So, I try to write ng articles, um, radio spots and scripts, and you know, my short fiction uh, modules. So, I don't know what I try because I just really want to write. And until again, um, I was invited to attend a writing workshop by a um, publishing company here in the Philippines with the hope that at the end of the workshop, it will come up with a book material. So out of that workshop, uh, this one came out. This was the uh, my first... Uh, uh, my first eh. uh, yeah, I can see. Yes. Boho as friend. So, pero hindi pa ito ang original cover niya. Dati white pa siya eh. This one is a... Ano na, the newer version. Cover design cover. Uh, ito, ibang kwento nito. So, maybe a little later on, I can tell you more about it to encourage you kasi talagang maraming challenges while I was writing this book. So, uh, mula noon, uh, I've been sending proposals to OMF Literature. Um, and then, yun nga, may mga sumunod na akong projects with them. And I also tried uh, sending other book proposals to them. Nice. Well, just hearing from your story, for that short story that you told us back in your childhood, no elementary to two thousand, to publishing your own book. Parang it seems like parang you it was easy for you. You had it easy, but but yeah, but you said na not really, <laughs> especially yeah. with the book that you showed us. So tell us, what were some of the challenges that you went through as as a published author or while you were in that um, that time na gusto mo magsalat ng libro? So what were some of your challenges and how did you overcome? Uh, una sa lahat, finding time to write is really a big challenge. Uh, and I think for most uh, be authors or guide authors for people. That's quite a challenge. Because I'm also a mom. Yeah. Um, after getting married, no, uh, two years after, nagka baby na kami. Uh, tapos nasundan siya kaagad. And so, I had to balance my time between uh, writing and also homemaking. And at the also, at the time, I was also serving in church. So, I was also helping. Your hands were full, in short. <laughs> yes. yes, I'm a pastor's wife. So, alam mo naman yung sa, well, maraming pastor's wife, di ba? All around ka rin. So, that's kind of difficult, finding time to write. Um, I remember I would write 
uh, after the kids have fallen asleep. So I would drive uh, sa Gabina. Kahit Gabina, because I have to finish a deadline. Maabuti na kayo 2 o'clock in the morning. Wow. So it's a challenge and it's a... Uh, mah- mahirap. It's not easy. But if you're really passionate about something, you're willing to ano, make sacrifices, di ba? So I'm sure a lot of the fulfilled women in this community also experience the same thing. So sa akin, finding time to write is a challenge. And then also, uh, may notes ako eh, kaya di ba nakatingin. Okay. Nakakatawa um, that you mentioned about that passion. I, I had another interview just prior to you. And she was saying the same thing. If you are passionate about something, you have to be willing to sacrifice because yes, it's not uh, gonna be easy. Pero kung titingnan mo parang wow, ang galing, parang ang dami niyang nasulat na libro. Maybe it was easy for her, but it's not. You have a lot of sacrifices. At saka um uh yung passion na yun kasi nanggagaling siya from, you know, yung your relationship with God. Because you know first of all that God called you into this line of work or in this line of calling or in this kind of ministry. Kaya you go on, you persevere. Kasi andun yung, alam mo, ito yung pinapagawa sa'yo ni Lord. And that you are relying not on your own strength, but on the grace of God. Kaya, go, go, go lang tayo kahit mahirap. Yes. So, another, another challenge would be, ano, gaining confidence after you receive uh, rejection. Because believe it or not, I received lots of rejection. Uh, mm-hmm. May mga uh, proposals na akong pinadala dati. I think before, before this came out, I sent out other book proposals which were not accepted. So, uh, ano yun, di ba? Parang it's a blow on your ego. Uh, right. Yung article na sinulat ko, uh, much of writing is actually waiting. You wait for a proposal to be approved. You wait for the feedback from the editor. You wait for the time for the book to to be published from the time you submit it until, until the time that uh, it finally gets printed and uh, out in the market. And ito yung, ito yung nakaka, ano, uh, well, nakakalungkot na, oh, kaya challenge talaga. You wait for the time for your, uh, for your wounded ego to get to heal. To heal, <laughs> oh, heal ba? Kasi pag sinabi, ah, hindi ka natanggap, minsan you take it personally. But I've learned na, don't take it personally. Not to take it personally, kasi yung material naman ang ginajudge, hindi, or yung material yung ini-evaluate, not you as a person. So, uh, it's a challenge to get the, that confidence back after receiving rejection. Uh, also, another, yun, I think nabanggit ko na kanina, waiting. Talagang, mm-hmm. many of us want to write, diba? Ako dati, high school ako, I want to write book. Eh, kailan ba ako nagkaroon ng libro? I was already in my, I think, um, early 30s or mid So it was a long wait. Oo, kaya uh, chill lang tayo, no? <laughs> <laughs> it will come in God's perfect time. So there were there are other challenges but I think those are our major ones. Uh, one more, one more. Yes. Waiting for the royalty check and waiting for the payment. <laughs> Especially yes. during my time. Ang tagal ng buti ngayon, mas mabilis may bank bank transaction, you get paid to pay or, or, or PayPal. Pero nung time namin, you really have to go to the office and claim your check and then papalitan mo. Ano? Ang tagal. tagal, tagal. What, what I have noticed with your story was that ever since you were in elementary and high school and after graduating, you were writing. So you yes. have really honed your skill. Talagang ever since, you were just writing and writing and writing and writing and writing and writing. That's why naging editor, you, you've become an editor also because you were really such a good writer. Well, yes, from, from grade school up to now, I've been writing. But there were times also in seasons of my life where, as I've said, na set aside because I concentrated on other things or yung focus ko mas, mas doon. Like, um, when I felt... Uh, called by the Lord to be involved in Christian ministry after that was um, after my stint as a staff writer so I was writing as a staff writer and then Bible school ako for two years I wasn't writing anything except mm-hmm. then for school and then I got married and when we had kids syempre hindi na hindi ako pa, when they were still very little when babies pa sila 
yung medyo naging mid uh, when they reach their middle childhood, tsaka na lang ako nakapagsulat ulit. So, mm-hmm. ayun. So, how, how, how did you hone your skills? You were writing personally, but did you attend workshops? Did you, oh, yes, what did you do to get better? Mm-mm. Um, during my early years, uh, I joined this Christian Writing Fellowship hosted by Ornette Literature. Uh, it's still ongoing. Meron pa rin Christian Writers Fellowship in Ornette Literature. And then also, I would uh, check writers' websites, authors' websites, and um, ano, read a lot. I would buy books on writing, getting published, also learn how to write from uh, websites. And believe me, hanggang ngayon nag-aaral pa rin ako. Actually, I just enrolled in an online writing course uh, I think two weeks ago. Kasi you just have to keep on learning. Look at that. I mean, you've written a lot of books already, but you are still learning. I think that's really something that we have to know, that everyone should know, that learning should never stop. Yeah. Okay, so what are some of your advice for those people who want to be just like you, who want to be a published author as well? Uh, una sa lahat, ako, I would always uh, say that we are to acknowledge writing as a from the Lord. Kasi apart from God, we cannot write or we we only have this ability to write because God has given it to us. So oh, that's how I treat it. Writing as a gift. And then secondly, I, I treat it as um, as a ministry. Yun. Kasi ako, uh, natutuwa ako magsulat but I recognize na hindi lang yan for my own pleasure or for the benefit of others but also to be used by God as a tool to introduce him to other people. So, ang tingin ko sa kanya ministry. So, I want other people to know God through my writings and also to encourage and inspire other people. So, yun, basic lang. Uh, para sa atin na gustong magsulat or okay, kahit anong gift meron ka, to recognize first that it came from God and we have to rely on God, uh, ask His help so that we can develop whatever gift He has given us. Tapos, also, I would advise, dahil writing, pinag-usapan natin, ano, to keep reading and to keep just writing. Kasi, uh, pag nagbabasa tayo, of course, natututo tayo. No? Uh, you learn as you read. No? You learn about other writer's style, other genre. So, huwag kang titigil sa pagbabasa. And also, try to explore other means of writing, other genre, and other platform. Ngayon naman, ang daming para ano, uh, when I was a kid, I would just write sa notebook, you know, and I would just keep a diary. Sulat lang ako every day. <laughs> Wala po may nagda-diary. <laughs> so, uh, ngayon, meron tayo blogs, no? We have, we can have uh, uh, Twitter. So, ang daming sa social media, may platform. Mag-post ka nga lang sa Facebook, eh, ang dami nang mag-react din sa'yo. That's some, that's some form of, ano, di ba? Uh, getting published sa, ano, on a smaller scale or at least something to start with. So, sulat ka lang ng sulat. Um, volunteer. Try to, kung ngayon, kasi um, sa totoo lang, it's very hard to get into traditional publishing or to be published traditionally. By traditional publishing, we mean getting published by big publishers. Mm-hmm. Ang hirap, di ba? Kaya others go into self-publishing or they mm-hmm. consider yung ano, uh, print on demand. No? Uh, para, parang self it's also a form of self-publishing. So, madami actually yung, ano din ngayon, uh, venues, platforms for you. For your E-books writing. also, if yes. you don't have the means so, to you're print it. Author, yes. So, ano nga ako tungkol dyan? <laughs> your own e-book. Kasi, ma-add mo ako as friend and also my other books with OMF literature are also published as e-books. Oh. Take, care of that. take care of that publishing. Pero ako mismo hindi. So, <laughs> ayun. And then I would advise you keep on um, attending writing workshop, on your opportunity, uh, watch webinars, diba? or enroll in online courses. Diba? Uh, si Viv, si Vivian, merong mga ino-offer. Yan, yan, right? Pero meron siyang mga ino-offer. So, I would ad- advice that you find also a mentor like Vivian. Mahalagang meron ding mentor. Or yun nga, you try to join Christian Writers Fellowship or Christian Writers um, uh, group. 
they can help you, uh, encourage you to keep on. Ano po ulit name nun? The, the fellowship that you were talking uh, about? You said it's... Uh, the uh, Christian Writers Fellowship. Christian Writers Fellowship. It's mm -hmm. hosted by ONF Literature. Mm -hmm. We have a... Uh, uh, I think we have a group in Facebook. Uh, you can search for it. That's nice to know. I've never heard of that. Mm -hmm. No, no. See, usually it's by invitation or if someone uh, is in the group uh, invites you, you get invited. Mm -hmm. so, but if you're, uh, if you're uh, somehow writing and you're a Christian, uh, I think you can join the group. Ayan. That's that's very short. That's a very short interview. But then it was jump back with a lot of advice and tips from Miss Marlene. So thank you so much for all the advice and for sharing us your story and for for making us feel human by by sharing all your challenges as well. Kasi parang parang tingin namin sa you're you're already there on top na parang nasa pedestal na but to hear that you all you had feelings of rejections then about of um, rejections and all that it makes us feel human <laughs> so yes. thank you for being honest and sharing oh, that to oh, us oh yun ang isang bagay din that we have to ano um remember na kasi somehow pag author ka you have some following and that other people tend to look up to you siempre pero we have to keep our feet on the ground remember na we're just like any other human being here on earth ako kita mo ba nasa kitchen tayo ay ano is that the kitchen tayo no kasi yun ang office ko is a dining table and i kanina kaya andan hindi ako makapag i was supposed to have a ano a call with with someone who would like invite me for to speak to their group, pero sabi ko, wait, kasi I'm going to the grocery. <laughs> Di ba, ganun. So, uh, be humble, stay humble, and always give back the glory to God. Kasi lahat ng ito dahil sa Panginoon, and lahat ng ito ay posible lang because of uh, the Lord. And it's all for His glory. Yeah. Thank you very much po again, and thank you for reminding us that, that it's really about God giving us that gift and using it as a ministry and minister to other people also. Before we end, <laughs> before we end, we also want to know the books that you have published. I have two of your books. <laughs> So, the, your working mom, and then the uh, the devotional, the travel. Ay bagay yon sa asawa ko, kasi lagi nita travel yung asawa ko. Papabasa ko pala sa kanya yon. <laughs> so you you have, I think you have the books with you. Pwede ba namin makita? Okay. This is the latest, the traveler's notebook. Uh, traveler's notebook. It's a devotional for those of you who really want to travel. Well, so sa CSM siya. And then, I have partner books for couples. How to keep their hubby happy and how to keep their missus happy. So, maganda siyang pangregalo for uh, mga ikakasal. Oh, and yeah! For working moms, yan. Um, I discussed here about the seasons of motherhood and your different work options if you want to work. If you're working full-time in the office or if you want to explore the... Um, Working from home set up. So, maganda siya. Okay, kindly visit and like my uh, author page on Facebook. Just type um, at Mar uh, author Marlene Legaspi Munar and you can find my page there. So, you would know more about my other books. Yay! Thank you so much again. Well, we yeah. we have to cut this yung ating internet hindi na nagko-cooperate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but thank you, thank you very much. Oh, yes, okay. thank you, thank you, thank you mom. Bye.